King 5 is working to bring you the facts of the coronavirus outbreak. And here's a look at the latest numbers in Washington state. The health department now says there are nearly 2,000 confirmed cases. That includes 95 people who have died. More than 28,000 people, about 94%, have tested negative for the virus. Taking a live look now at Everett this morning. This is where an order to shelter in place kicks off at noon today. Everyone ordered to stay home. Mayor Cassie Franklin announced the directive on Friday. People working in essential fields are exempt. We're talking about industries like healthcare, grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations, and child care facilities. And the same thing is happening in the city of Edmonds. Uh, they are ordered to stay home again, only allowing people to go out for essential services. Let's check in now with Kelly Greenberg, who is in Edmonds, where the mayor made this emergency proclamation. The goal of this proclamation is to make sure the maximum number of people self isolate to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Now it went into effect at midnight last night. So now heading into this Monday morning, Mayor Mike Nelson is saying that people should stay home except for certain essential activities and work that's necessary to provide essential business and government services. They also say essential public infrastructure constructions those projects will still continue. Now, this means people working in fields that are considered essential. Healthcare workers, people who work at grocery stores, pharmacies, gas stations will be open, child care facilities. People that work at those, they'll still go into work on this Monday morning and for the foreseeable future. But retail shops, sit in restaurants, hanging out in downtown Edmonds, that shouldn't be happening. Those retail and restaurants should be closed. Now, they did include a list of what people can do, and I'll give you uh, a few of those. It includes essential errands for health and safety purposes. You still can engage in outdoor activities. You can go for a hike. You can take a walk. They just want to make sure people are six feet apart. You can pick up takeout or go to a drive through and you can still care for a loved one who might live in a different household. Now we've reached out to the city to ask how they plan to enforce this proclamation and whether or not there will be any penalties for be people who break these rules. But what they're urging is that people stay home to protect one another. Now this is a lot to take in and it's a big change to the everyday life. So we have put together a list of what you can and cannot do. Um, all you have to do is text the word Edmonds to 206 448 Four five four five. Again, that's the word Edmonds, like the city of Edmonds, and we'll actually send you a link and it'll say exactly what you can and cannot do so you can start working that in to your day to day life. For now in Edmonds, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News. 807 now and there are reports this morning out of Boeing that an Everett worker at the Boeing plant has died of coronavirus. King 5's Amity Adrisi gets us up to speed on that story. We're told that the man who died worked at the Boeing Everett factory for many, many years. So obviously just a tragedy for the company and many of his co-workers. King Five also spoke with his brother who said he wants to see that factory shut down. I saw a couple of weeks ago that they had four cases and I said they should be shutting down. My brother walked right into it. Walked right, walked right into it. That is Lionel Washington. He tells us that his brother, 58-year-old Elton, died from the coronavirus over the weekend after being in intensive care for several days. Since March 17th, he's been posting to Facebook all about Elton's COVID-19 diagnosis. We, of course, reached out to Boeing, who would not yet confirm that coronavirus was the cause of his death. They said they are aware of the social media posts, but want to confirm information out of respect to the family's privacy. We've just learned that Boeing has 29 cases company-wide, 24 of which are in Puget Sound. Several Boeing workers have spoken to King 5 anonymously and say they are frustrated the company has kept the factory open despite the rising cases. There's a genuine worry amongst most employees that I don't want to get sick, I don't want to get anybody else sick, which is not something you usually hear. We're not helping the situation right now by staying open. Let me be clear, Boeing has said that if you are diagnosed with coronavirus or work closely with anyone who's been diagnosed with COVID-19, you will be paid throughout the duration of quarantine. And many of us are lucky enough to work from home, obviously, but 
When you're building airplanes, that's simply not possible. You have to go into the factory and work. And that is why many of the factory workers are hoping that that factory does not close down. We'll continue following this. In Seattle, Amity Adrisi, King 5 News. Now, testing is obviously the big part of all of this right now. It's how we get those Boeing numbers. It's how we find out who has coronavirus and who does not. 94% of tests in Washington state are all negative. This weekend, a pop-up drive through for testing uh, arrived in Lacey. Tests here were given to those considered high risk, like people with cancer, heart disease, asthma. Melissa Gully meets some of the requirements. I was feeling sick this week and I have asthma and something called eosinophilic esophagitis and can make it a little hard to breathe sometimes. Now at this site, again, they're only testing for high risk patients, but the hope is to open up drive through sites like this for everyone very soon. Let's take a look at the stocks in Wall Street this morning where the Dow Jones is down more than 400 points here on your Monday trading day. Uh, overnight stocks fell following the worst week since the financial crisis. They were up shortly, but in an unprecedented move, the New York Stock Exchange floor temporarily closed today. No one is on the floor physically trading. Trading. It's the first time that's really happened. The financial markets as a whole will be open. They're going to do all the online trading electronically. This comes after two workers tested positive for coronavirus. No word yet on when the stock floor will be back open to traders. Mimi. Jake, Japan's prime minister now says postponing the Tokyo Olympics may be unavoidable. Today, he told parliament that may be the only choice, but he says canceling the games is not an option. The Olympics are scheduled to start on July 24th. Delaying the games would be a massive blow for Japan, which has invested more than $12 billion so far. King 5 continues to work hard to bring you the facts on the coronavirus outbreak. When we're not on the air, you can always find the latest information on our website, king5.com. To get a direct link to this special section, just text the word virus to the number on your screen, 206-448-4545.